What's going on ladies and gents, it's Richard Quo, and this week I'm gonna help answer the question, how do we make life meaningful? How do we make it more meaningful? I think the first thing we need to do is we need to answer the question for ourselves. Uh, you need to answer the question for yourself. What do you, th what do you think is going to make life more meaningful? <clears throat> uh, I think all of us are gonna have maybe somewhat similar answers, but at the end of the day, we need to understand what for ourselves is gonna make our own life meaningful. When I look at this question, uh, the answer that's, the, the two answers that come to my mind, number one is to build deep, meaningful connections with people. And the second thing would be to, to do meaningful things, to do interesting things. So I'm gonna break this down as quickly as possible because uh, I think these are really interesting points. Um, let's talk about building meaningful relationships first. Uh, a few weeks ago, I posted a video called How to Truly Get to Know Someone. So those are some tips on how to build those meaningful relationships. You can check out that video. I'll link it in the description and maybe post it here, maybe not. Either way, it'll be in the description. Um, so why is it important to build meaningful relationships with people? I believe it's important to build these deep, deep connections with people, whether it's with family, with friends, with a romantic relationship, with, with people in general, because as human beings, uh, I think a part of us, we want this 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 belonging, we want this connection with people, and it, it's part of our innate human nature that we want to do that. Uh, so this, this theme of loneliness has always come up for me, especially since I've been single for the past six years. And um, it's interesting because it doesn't matter how many thousands and thousands and thousands of people you might know, maybe you're a celebrity and, and you're super famous, it doesn't matter how many people know you, you could still be lonely. And I think loneliness comes from uh, this need, this desire to have a deep relationship with someone. Uh, so for myself, I'll be honest, um, I've felt lonely in my life and I think a lot of it comes from not having as deep as connections that I am looking for. So how do we solve this? How do we build these deep, deep connections with people? Um, I've already shared half of it in the other video and I'm gonna share kind of another piece of it here. I think the first one is to surround ourselves with like-minded people, people who are going to be there for us, people who, um, who, who want to be in a relationship with us as friends, as a romantic partner, or even our family. Um, family, you know, those are things that we can't choose. Uh, but what we can choose is we can choose to try to build those relationships. They're not always easy. Uh, I've struggled a lot with uh, my own siblings and my parents uh, for many, many years. And finally, at the age of 26, I've been able to develop our relationship and I feel like, <sighs> I feel like finally I've been able to connect with my siblings, uh, especially my sister, who I never used, used to really get along with uh, when I was younger. <clears throat> so that's cool. Uh, friends, in terms of friends, uh, I've had friends, like my best friends from high school, from middle school, uh, a few friends from college, and what I've come to realize is, uh, you know, everyone has their own personality, everyone has their own way they wanna communicate, and, um, the best thing I could do, because I do care about my high school best friends, especially because they are my main best friends, um, is I try to be open with them. I try to uh, talk about myself in an open way. I talk about uh, relationships, I talk about sex, I talk about my, my finances, I talk about my emotions, and this sparks conversation and allows me to connect deeper with them. Uh, unfortunately for myself, I've realized that it's been harder to uh, talk to them on a regular basis because our, our interests are a little bit different, which is okay. There's, there's no hard feelings either way. And for that matter, I've actually made uh, really good friends and uh, with people that share common interests with me. So uh, Jonathan Liu, uh, Chris Chan, Erica Lee, like uh, shout out to all of you because uh, this year has been amazing that I've been able to connect with people who, who love personal development, who uh, love playing basketball, who, who love all these things that I'm interested in as well. Uh, so I recommend surrounding yourself with like-minded people. Next thing is, this kind of goes with, um, one part of having deeper connections with people is being vulnerable with people. Another part of it, and I kind of hinted at this, is finding people to, to be vulnerable with and share those connections with. So I think I've already mentioned this in this video and I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I've been single for the past six years and uh, I've been doing a lot of online dating. I've been contacting so many different people and 
um, not really expecting anything to happen, but being very patient about it. And uh, I, I would say I've been very lucky. Uh, a few days ago, I contacted uh, someone and we just started having a conversation. Ever since, we've been having conversations every single day for, for hours on end. We've been talking, we've been t uh, texting back and forth. And to be able to share this experience with this other person uh, has been quite magical. It's been, it's been really cool to, to be on a deeper level with another, another human being. So I'm very grateful for that. So deeper connections, very, very important uh, in making a meaningful life, living a meaningful life. Um, I, I feel like I kind of left this open-ended. I think there's a lot more to talk about. So drop questions in the comment section and I'm sure as my journey progresses, I will uh, dive into this even deeper. Second thing I want to mention, uh, so we talked about relationships being a part, a important part of being meaningful. The second part would be creating meaningful experiences. So meaningful experiences. Uh, many of you watching this video are probably high schoolers. Uh, I think creating meaningful experiences, uh, whether you're high school or graduated or whoever you are, I think we could all create meaningful experiences. And that really starts with thinking, hmm, What's going to make my life interesting? What What's going to make it fun? Is it going skydiving? Is it base jumping? Is it um, is it writing graffiti on a wall? And I'm not recommending that you do all these things because I think what how we decide how to make life interesting and come up with these ideas is let's not filter what we want to do first. So let's keep it uninhibited and think about yeah I'm gonna, I want to do all these crazy things. I want to trash trash a building, I want to vandalize something. It doesn't matter. I'm not encouraging that, but I'm encouraging that you let your mind just roam free and just be inspired, follow your heart. And afterwards you can think, okay, is this a good idea? What are the consequences for, for my actions here? And I think that's what makes life meaningful, interesting. So hopefully, hopefully um, you'll find those interesting things for you. For me, uh, if I were to ask myself what's going to make my life interesting, I would say I think traveling is on there. I think I want to go hang gliding. That's always been on my bucket list. Um, honestly, I got to sit down and think about this myself. So there's there's definitely a lot out there. Uh, but hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully this uh, gets you started in living a more meaningful life for yourself. Build those deeper, meaningful connections, do more interesting things, and uh, let me know any thoughts you have and what you believe will make your life meaningful, and maybe that will inspire me to make my life a little bit more interesting too. All right, uh, thank, you for, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this helpful, be sure to share it with your friends, and um, subscribe to my channel down there somewhere, you know. All right, cool, love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week, peace.